hi guys it's nancy here and i'm just back with a, another video and i'm going to um do some spectrum noir coloring with you um i just want to say a big thank you for everyone who commented on my previous spectrum noir videos um and i just really enjoy coloring and i you know if people want to watch me do that then you know that's really cool as well and i am no by no means an expert at all um I just want to show you some recent um, images that I have coloured. Let me just zoom in here, guys, so you can see a bit better. And these are all digital images. Um, I do have my scan and cut um, feature working now on my Cameo, so it means that I can cut out um, images um, around to see me kind of fussy cutting them out. So these are just a few images that I have coloured. Um, recently to um, add into a card I am using my spec um, my Wink of Stellas on these as well again so there's these really I really love a Wink of Stella on these um, and I'm really loving the black glaze pen for adding details to the eyes um, and these are just a real mixture of kind of digi images which I will eventually end up putting on cards I'm just really enjoying kind of having a play around um you know not all of them come out great some of them come out i mean like this one i absolutely love how this came out this one not so much but it's a bigger size so um and i'm kind of learning more about like the fabric and the hair and stuff like that as well and so i'm gonna just have another little um image here as well so really really enjoying doing this coloring um, I just thought I'd stop by and share with you um, another video. Um, I may then also show you me making this one into a card, but we'll see um, how long it takes me to do the colouring. <laughs> so, thanks very much guys, um, and I will now cut to the colouring part. Cheers, bye! Hi guys, it's Nancy back here. Um, I did film that intro bit a lot earlier, and I'm now poorly again, and so my voice is a lot worse, but... I have loads of videos recorded that I was hoping to get voiced over this weekend and that hasn't happened so I just thought you'd have to put up my pitiful voice for a bit um, and I'm just going to narrate this video for you. So um, I showed you this image um, when I was talking about other images and again this is a digital one. Um, I didn't fussy cut this one um, out in any way um, and because it's got more of the um, you know, fancy design around it, I didn't do that, so I'm just using my Spectrum Noir pens and I am showing to the side there um, the colours that I am using I tend to use the same ones for the skin, I do need to branch out and try a few different pens um, but for now I kind of stick with the same um, FS2, FS3 um, pens I decided to do black hair um, on this girl. There isn't actually much of her hair showing so um, you know it doesn't kind of it didn't take me too long to do the hair and the hair is something I'm still practicing um, especially black hair as well is something I do need to practice a little bit more but um, I do like how this one came out in the end and it's just a case of just adding up layers and keep going backwards and forwards with the colours until you get it how it looks really and I've not taken any um, classes or anything like I've said before um, I've watched YouTube videos and the rest is just sort of you know trial and error really and just playing around um, I think there's sort of many different styles of colouring out there and stuff at the moment and um, there's some styles that I really like and there's others that I don't so I just kind of take you know a little bit from everything and um, the light you can see there that I do keep pulling my colour chart out um, I do tend to keep that with me at all times so I can just have that visual reference to what colour um, I want to use um, again I don't I do sort of, well I don't kind of just stick to one part of my image I do tend to just sort of dart around a bit um, and that's mainly just if I have the pens out that are going to kind of go with that that part excuse me um, I do really love this image it's really cute um, so and I didn't really have much of an idea what I was going to do colouring wise sometimes I'll pick out my colours um, beforehand um, other times I won't I am trying to make sure that 
I do put my caps to the side so you can see what colours I am using um, because I know you know it's helpful if you do want to use the kind of same tones and blends then you can just you know look at the colours that I'm doing as um, as a rule I start with the lightest and then go to the darkest and back again and I think that's kind of you know how most people use Copics and stuff like that and again I don't see too many Spectrum Noir um, videos I mean you know they're basically the same it's just kind of the numbers and stuff that are different um, I do have the um, the brush nibs on a few of mine so that does mean that they're kind of even similar to the Copic in that way but I actually prefer the bullet nib um, you know I can control it easier and I think that's probably because I was used to prime markers before this so I'm just colouring in this jacket using these lovely pinks and I'm using the bright pinks and um, just going through and adding that and just making sure I kind of try and keep my light in the right place um, that's something I'm still working on my light source and getting that correct because I think it can make a huge difference to how your image looks um, but I tend to not necessarily think about it but um, yeah, I'm kind of happy with how this image came out because I think I did kind of get the lighting right on this. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, I know there's like loads of classes and stuff out there um, that people um, use and you know they'll talk to you about light source and that kind of stuff. I um, mean, you know, it's a very similar principle to when you're doing any kind of drawing or anything like that or painting. But yeah, I said I sometimes pay attention and sometimes don't. Um, it's just, you know, just trying to kind of bear it in mind when I'm doing my shading and I'm really happy with how uh, this came out. As it is, this image is a nice size, it's not too small. Um, that's something I do find um, a bit hard with some of the um, actual rubber stamps I've got. They're a little bit trickier to colour in using the Spectrum Noir markers. So I know I wanted to attempt some kind of jean look um, with this and I hadn't um, ever sort of coloured jeans before. So you're going to see me um, kind of playing around here. So I do use TB3 and then I'm going in with um, blue grey as well. <coughs> and it's just merely a case of just layering those in and blending them in together. And I'm pretty happy with the overall result. I mean, this image did kind of indicate where there'd be a bit of shading and stuff on, so that does make it um, a little bit easier. Um, but it really is a case just to keep adding those layers and stuff till you're happy with it. And overall, I think you can tell that they're supposed to be jeans, so you know, that's, that's always good. Um, <coughs> sorry guys, I do really apologise for my coughing. I just really do want to make sure that I've got some videos up on my channel, um, just for you guys to, you know, to watch. Um, as I said, I, I really enjoy, you know, making my videos and I've got a lot here that I need to get up. Um, so I just, you know, kind of made that vow to myself that I want to get at least three videos up a week. I'm going to try for four, but I do want to get at least three up a week. So um, I'm pushing myself to do this voiceover. So I've now finished the image and just went back there and had a little bit of shading in. And I'm now working um, on the kind of other part of the image, which I'm not going to worry so much about shading on. Um, <coughs> Um, because I don't think it really needs it, it's kind of quite a graphic detail. And this is kind of like the spray coming out of this aerosol can. And so now, now I'm just um, using basically the colours that I had out. And kind of colouring in this cloud effect. And again it's just a case of blending those colours together. <coughs> I do apologise that you can see my head in this. 
um, on my hair. At least my hair is slightly better in this video than it was before. So sometimes, you know, I just need to lean over to make sure I'm putting the colours down right. Sorry about that, guys. I had to stop the video as I had a coughing fit. Um, as you'll see, I do dart back to the image if I suddenly realise as things are drying, they don't look quite right. And that is, you know, do bear that in mind when using these pens, you know, that as they dry, the colours will change slightly, so. Now I'm just working on this heart, and I decide I want to use the pinks again, just to pick up the pink um, from her jacket. And so I'm just using the image there as a guide, and colouring that in. And my head is just blocking most of it. And I'm really getting like the hang of blending the pinks now. I think it's just the more and more you work with these pens, um, you know, the better. Not the better you're gonna get, you know, but the you know the way you're gonna know more what colours go well together. So I'm doing very little shading on um, these sort of parts. These are just um, colouring the stars in. I really love this image. It's so cool. I do just bring some of the fluorescent colours in, just to add a little pop of colour. And at this point I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with the image, so I'm just taking my GG1 and just outlining the whole image. Um, this is so, if I do cut it out, um, you know, I can of course cut around this, but it's also, if not, it's just adding um, a little bit to kind of connect all the image and I've seen this done um, in like a few other videos and stuff I've watched and I really like the effect because it is quite subtle um, but it's a good way of connecting everything together including all these little parts and it's really yeah it's just using sort of one of the lightest colours that you have <laughs> I'm really happy with how that looks I don't need to go back and just finish off her face so I'm just bringing the blue in and again these are blues that I use in her jeans I'm just carrying a little heart that she has on her face there as well and then I'm going to go in my um, white Signo Uniball just to do the whites of the eyes <coughs> I don't worry too much if um, some of the pen bleeds into the eyes because I know that I'm going to go over it with the white and then I've just used my black Securi glaze pen as well and I'm using my stamping up chalk marker to add some subtle highlights sorry guys had to stop again for another coughing fit as I think I was saying um, I do like this stamping up chalk marker um, it's just really good for adding um, a more matte white to it and it also lets the colour show through from beneath as well so I do really love using that in conjunction um, with my Signo pen and I'm just doing her eyebrows because we all know how important eyebrows are so I was just making sure um, her hair and everything was just looking good I'm just taking my Winker Stella pen here and just adding um, some of the clear on top of the aerosol and then I just add it to the pupils of her eyes as well and I really love how that looks so I'm now just cutting here to um, me making a card from this image and I'm just taking this painting that I've done um, I did have sort of a messy art evening um, with a couple of friends and I just with this plan with some masking fluid and some different textures and masks and having a great old ball really and this is one of the pieces I created so I'm just chopping that up and um, to make a background for this card you'll see that I did fussy cut that out and um, I kept most of the bits apart from the bits that are really disconnected from the image I'm going to be using a shape card so I had previously made um, a template so I was just drawing that on and cutting around that Um, this is on watercolour card, and that's um, quite a heavyweight watercolour card, so um, you know it's going to be quite stable. So I'm just cutting this down so I can mount that on the front of my card, 
and I really love how this background works for this image because it's kind of like looks like she's against like a graffiti wall and um, well that was the kind of vibe I was going for anyway so I'm now looking at putting my sentiment on there and I want to use that Chamel die that says lovely um, I go through my project life Amy Tan cards that I've got there as you know I'm trying to get these used up so there's one I decide to add as a background and then I pull out this yellow one which I'm going to die cut that lovely out of and I decide to also use that hay um, sentiment to um, add to there so I'm just running that through my big shot which I am learning to love slowly um, I think maybe if I do more cards and stuff I will probably get more use out of it um, I wouldn't say I get a lot of use out of it scrapbooking but I'm determined to use up more of what I have um, so um, that's why I'm trying to kind of use these older supplies and different things so again this is just from the plus one um, Amy Tangerine collection and I think you know it just it needs something quite bright that's going to pop against that background. That background is quite busy. <coughs> Sorry guys, nearly there, nearly to the end. Um, so I'm just going to fussy cut this. I really could have edited this out a bit but I really just wanted to get a voiceover done guys so I do apologise that you having to watch me fussy cut that out. Um, I can't think I'd seen, I'd seen a video where someone had used a Project Life card to put behind an image and I really liked how that looked, so that wasn't just stole that idea from someone. I'm going to ink everything up in black. Um, I'm just using my Men Memento Tuxedo Black. It's just to help everything um, work well together. <coughs> um, I'm trying to ink up that lovely a little bit, but it doesn't work too much. Okay guys, hopefully that was the last coffee bit. So now it's just a case of putting this card together. So I'm just sticking that background on the shaped card. And I'm just having to trim it up a little bit. And I'm just going to have to add a little bit of black ink there just to where I'd kind of bodged it slightly. But because the background is so busy, you can't really tell, which is quite a good thing. And so now it's just a case of adding it all together. And I'm just using my wet glue to stick that down. Um, I'm just, you know, it, it just alternate while I stick it down. It doesn't really make much difference to me. It's just easier to use the wet glue for some of these designs. So I'm now um, working out how I can fit my sentiment on. So I'm just having to pull up my image. So I can tuck the tail of that lovely behind there. And then sticking that hay up. And I really love how you know this came out with that background I said didn't know really what I was going to use that painting for so I'm really glad that I could cut it up and get it used in some way I'm just going to add a few enamel dots down to the corner just to add a little bit of bling and that is my card done so I hope you've enjoyed this video guys um, I'm going to put some close up shots um, please give me a thumbs up if you like it and I'll talk to you all again soon thanks guys bye